The hip can be especially challenging for orthopedic surgeons, but the science behind a new surgical table is improving the experience for patients like Madeline Gerke. She hasn't been one to settle for less since her days of proving people wrong in the pool. They actually tried to kick me off the Y team. Um, they were like, this girl, not a swimmer. She landed a scholarship and spent three years swimming for the University of Missouri until the pain in her hips became unbearable. I seriously could not even walk to the grocery store, which is like two blocks away from my house, um, without being in a lot of pain. The problem was femoral acetabular impingement, meaning the bones in Madeline's hip joint hit each other when she moved. It's likely caused by genetics and aggravated by repetitive motion. Fixing the problem requires a surgery called hip arthroscopy. Madeline had the surgery in her left hip but faced a common side effect afterward. I had a lot of numbness in my leg for a really long time. Caused by the traditional operating table for this type of surgery, which uses a post between the patient's legs. So the hip stays in one position while the legs are pulled, opening up the space in the hip joint for the surgeon's instruments. That creates a lot of pressure, uh, a lot of discomfort for the patients. And there's a lot of risk for soft tissue injury, nerve damage, urinary dysfunction, sexual dysfunction. When Madeline faced a second surgery on her other hip, there was a new option at MU Healthcare's Missouri Orthopedic Institute, a post-less traction table. With feet secured in traction boots and the head lower than the feet, gravity creates enough separation in the hip socket to perform the surgery. We're able to tilt the table so that their weight distracts the joint and we no longer need to use a post. So it's a much safer surgery, it's a much more pain-free surgery for the patients and they get a quicker recovery. Madeline experienced no numbness after her second surgery. There are many different conditions that can be treated through this type of hip surgery, including problems with the cartilage, bone, ligaments, and tendons. Today, Madeline's back in the fast lane and although her competitive career is over, this lifelong athlete isn't slowing down.